This video is the ultimate guide on what to do if you get home screen is currently unavailable come up on your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube. Full details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So you've turned your Fire TV stick on your Fire TV cube and you've got this message. Home screen is currently unavailable. So the only option you've got here is to go to network settings, home or change your profile or go to the settings just up there. So what you really need to do is, first of all, if you've got a VPN on your system, check to make sure that your VPN is OK, especially if it's one that auto connects when you turn your Fire TV device on. So go up to the settings cog just up there in the top right hand corner and then go down and across to applications. Once you're on applications, press the middle button on the remote and then go down to manage installed applications. Again, press the middle button on the remote and then you'll get a list of, out, um, um, of all your applications. These are in alphabetical order. So scroll down, find your VPN. There we go, I've found mine. Go into it, so press the middle button and then what you need to do is go into launch application and as you can see here, VPN not connected. Now, if it's saying that it's trying to connect, if it's got a, uh, a connecting uh, screen up there, then go to disconnect if you can find a disconnect. Also, if you've got in your settings there um, or an auto connect, then again, turn that off. That would be a, uh, a good start. If you've not got a VPN or that hasn't worked, then the next thing to do is restart your device. So grab your remote control, okay, and press and hold the play pause button while pressing the middle button. Keep it held down, just keep it held down until you see a band going across your screen. There you go, saying your Fire TV is powering off. Let it restart, and once it's restarted, see if it's made the connection. Okay, so mine's restarted and no, home screen is still currently unavailable. So let's go down to network settings just down the bottom there, middle button, and then we want to find our network. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is just want to find which one it is. So this is my one just up here. So highlight it, middle button on the remote control and just see if it connects. Give it a few seconds. Mine's just hung, it's got save, but it's not actually making the connection. If you can't see your Wi-Fi in that list, there may well be a problem with your router. This is also the next step if it doesn't actually connect, like mine isn't. Get your router, and what you need to do is you need to turn it off. So press the off button just there, or wherever it is on your router, or pull the power cable out of it. Leave it for about five minutes, okay? Let the hub or the router cool down. It could take a few minutes to reset itself, so leave it for five minutes, okay? And then once you've left it for five minutes, plug the power back in again or turn it back on, okay? And then leave it for another five minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do, because it does take a little while for the router to uh, to fire back up. It's not gonna be as soon as you, you turn it back on, it's gonna be ready. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to fire back up. So whilst we're waiting for it to fire back up, um, what we need to do is, let, like I say, leave it for five minutes. And then once we've left it for five minutes, then once again, we wanna grab the remote control, okay? Press the home button, the picture of the house on the remote control, and then press and hold the play pause again and the uh, the middle button. Keep those held down until you see a band going across the screen telling us your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube is powering off. Let it reboot and see if it now connects. Hopefully it should do. And there we go. I've rebooted it after rebooting the router. So I turned it off, the router off, left it for five minutes turned it back on again, left it for another five minutes, press the uh, play pause and the home button until the band come up on the screen, let it restart. If you're still having trouble connecting, then it may well be that there is a problem with your, your device. Try moving it if you can. Try moving your router closer 
if you can to the Fire TV stick or the Fire TV cube. If possible, you try and use an Ethernet cable if you've got an Ethernet adapter for your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube. And try and move, if you can, your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube to a better position, which is more out in the open and easier to receive Wi-Fi signals. Likewise, also try moving your router to a position where it's more out in the open and uh, it's easier to get Wi-Fi signals out because I know a lot of people like to hide their routers away but which is great aesthetically but it's no good for Wi-Fi signals as I always say you never see a mobile phone or a television transmitter at the bottom of the hill hidden away it's always loud and proud at the top of the hill so that the signal comes out best let's hope that one of these suggestions has fixed your problem if it has let us know in the comments down below if it hasn't equally let us know in the comments down below if you know of any other ways to fix it then again let us know one final thing though i've just thought of whilst we're whilst we're here if you do find that it's still not connecting then another thing to try just one final thing is go down to go to settings should i say just on the right just there and then middle button on the remote go down to network middle button and then find your device so your your wi-fi network and then press the uh, hamburger menu on the remote that's the button on the right hand side of the remote there the three horizontal lines and then press the middle button on the remote and that will forget the network so try and find it in this list here if it's not in the list here go to seal networks Go back down, find your network, middle button on the remote, and type in the password again for your Wi-Fi. Now you need to ensure that you type this very, very carefully. It's usually on the back or the underneath of your wireless router if you need it. Okay, so I've just typed mine in, press the play pause button on the remote, and just see if it then connects. So anyway, like I say, I hope one of these suggestions has helped you. And uh, as I say, let us know in the comments down below. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, don't forget, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.